Let's say this is the ground level. There. And this is the ground slab or the floor. with concrete, what we call beto, there. And so this is our stack. And then here we have appliances. For example, we have WC. On this side. And this WC has an outlet there and it drains into the single stack there. Then this side we have A basin, for example. Then this basin also must have a trap. My pants. Maybe somewhere a distance there. No, let me pass it down here. Down here. We have a kitchen sink. So we have a sink, we have a, double, uh, a basin, and we have WC. So you, 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 you notice something which is very clear with my sketches. And there we finish with the goals so that insects, animals cannot get in. So you notice something very unique about my sketch, is that there is no appliance which is sharing a branch with another one. Each appliance is connected to the stack. This is the single stack. And for domestic plumbing, mostly it is 100, 110 millimeter in diameter. This is the single stack. This is the single stack system of drainage. So each individual appliance takes its waste individually to the stack and it goes down. Either basin takes its waste individually to the stack. The WC takes its waste direct and individually to the stack. And then they go for drainage, municipal drainage, or whichever system, or septic, you know, not septic tank, but mostly either to a public drainage system, which carries out some treatment, or you could have a combined pit latrine hole where they all go. And this is quite a common system in Rwanda. So this is simply the sketch of a single stack system. Very, very clear and self-explanatory. The stack, the single, is because it's one, and the stack is the vertical pipe. And that is the recommended diameter. So without waiting, wasting a lot of time, because we don't, time is not on our side, we are going to do a simple,
single stack installation on the existing systems that we have already installed. We have been able to install a Urano. Urano is the same as a WC, is a soil appliance. Basin is the same as the shower, the hot is a waste appliance. And then we'll do a stack very quickly and then finish up and you can see it practically. Now, to be able to do our practicals, I have some tools here. As usual, I have the marking tools. This is a tape measure. This is a steel rule, which is long for long distances. This is a builder square, quite big in size. This is a spirit level for checking horizontality and verticality, plumbness. Then we have a pipe wrench in case we want to do any tightening or opening. Then on this side we have the hacksaw that will help us to, keep, to cut the big diameter pipes. We have a file just in case a pipe is not tentering and needs a bit of filing to remove the bar. That is, will come handy. That's about the tools for this. They are not complicated. Then on this side we have the materials that we are going to use. This is a PVC pipe. These are all PVC pipes. Many people think that all the plastic pipes that we have are PVC. Actually, it's the other way around. All plastic pipes are not PVC, but PVC is a member or one of the plastic pipes, which is very common in plumbing systems, particularly for drainage, because for one, being a plastic is corrosion free, does not corrode, it has a smooth internal bore, which allows movement of water and it reduces the friction and that therefore improves the velocity of flow. And here I have reducers because all pipes are not the same that we are going to use. This is a reducer. This is a big one for 110 diameter and this is for 40 millimeter diameter. You need experience to be able to identify each one directly. PVC is available in different colors. It is available in black color and gray. Those are the standard color codes for PVC. There is also a third color, which is not normally available in Rwanda or not common, orange. In other countries, you'll find that they have PVC pipes which are orange in color. So these are the materials that I'm going to use. I'll also need a pipe support for the big pipe. And from there, we do, without ado, we go straight to the job. So here I have the two appliances. I intend to have my stack at the middle of the two appliances. I know it's 110 diameter. So I'll, I'll measure there. I'm using this as my datum or reference point. So I'll do that. Then, then I'll do that. I don't have to go very far, but I have to take it down. Yeah. So our stack, that is approximately the middle distance between these two appliances, will come down through this. Then I need to decide where to put my support bracket, and I suggest somewhere around the middle. I can see the distance. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. So I suggest. That would be my location, will be the location for my support bracket, which I start with. I 
as usual, like in other previous lessons. We need a drill. I've already fixed a drill that will give us a pilot hole for my pipe support bracket. And without wasting time, I do the drilling. There we go. And I remove it from the socket for security purposes. Then I look for my bracket, which I have here. There I go. It has self-tapping thread. So I've done the pilot hole, and I locate the pilot hole. So you can see, it's now tapping for itself. It is coming out. And it's very important because it's the one that ensures that it connects. Yeah, there we are. Then now I can assemble my pipes. To begin with, I need a pipe, a branch that will drain the already connected trap from the urino, and another one from the already connected WC, and then the vertical pipe. Here I am. I have the first T and the first reducer. So this will receive the waste from uh, the basin, then I need another one. Then I'll join the two. Because of the T, it's a bit heavy. There we go. But it's, it's supposed to be opposite of the other. Right there. So this is, this will drain the urino. And this will drain, sorry, this will drain the urino. And this will, the other one will drain the basin. So there we go. And I centralize my pipe. There. So there we are, that one now is in position. Then I have to interconnect my pipes. Oh. 
while still observing the position of my pipe. And finally, And ladies and gentlemen, this is the washer basin, which is an waste appliance. This is a urino, which represents the soil appliances. And this is a single stack. And we have completed our system. From there, the system will go down. And that is the end of our lesson for this afternoon. Thank you very much for paying attention. And I once again believe that you'll be able to do your system as you have seen. It's not difficult at all. You only need to sit down, design and understand what you're dealing with, and then you make the relevant and necessary changes for both your tools and your materials. My name is Zachary Tehiko, an instructor in Kandi. Thank you very much.